Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with another AI quick tip. And what we're going to do today is we are going to use MidJourney here, of course, as you can see inside of Discord. And we are going to take this image right here and mash it up with Marilyn Monroe. And we're going to end up with this image by the time we're done. And then I will show you real quickly going through how to do it. And so let's take a look at what I've already done here. So we're in uh, mid journey, like I said. And the first thing I did is I was watching a video by this guy named Tim. I forget his last name. He's over at Theoretically Media. And he was talking about Laura Croft in his example. And so this is what happened when you took an image or the image that I have, which was this image right here. And you mashed it up with Laura Croft. Now, I've never seen any of those movies, so I don't know if that looks like her or not. So then I said, well, okay, let's do the same thing. Let's do it with Marilyn Monroe. And you look at this here and you say, okay, well, we got all the coloration, the nature, the yellow, the everything that we came in with with this picture here. But this doesn't look anything like Marilyn Monroe. And the reason why is by default, the <coughs> excuse me, the style weight is set to 100. And I found that what that does then is it's going to take this image and it's going to make the image override everything else you put in here. So we're going to work on that in a minute. And so then I, what I did on this one here then is I said, Marilyn Monroe colon colon five. So I gave Marilyn a weight of five, but again, it still doesn't override the style weight uh, based upon that image. So I had Marilyn Monroe here. And so then I said, well, how about we do Marilyn Manson? And yeah, I mean, that's enough like him that you certainly know that that was supposed to be Marilyn Manson. And then I thought, well, as long as we got Marilyn Manson, why not do Charles Manson? So again, does a pretty good job, but the mostly what you're seeing here is the yellows and the nature in the background. Then of course I did Joe Biden and Donald Trump and Barack Obama. I did AOC right here, but this definitely does not look anything like AOC. Whereas the rest of these here, especially like Joe Biden, I mean, that's a spitting image of him, but there's a gajillion pictures of him and the other two uh, former presidents as well. So we come on down here. Now let's start playing around with uh, what we're doing here. So here I put in SW0. Now you're supposed to be able to put in SW from 0 to 1,000. I found that uh, 100 was where I maxed out. The other thing is you have to do this in V6. So version 6 of MidJourney is the only place that this works. And then I put in a 16-9 aspect ratio just because I prefer wider images. But what you're going to see here with an SW of 0 it gave no weight at all to that reference picture. And so all the yellows, golds, nature, everything are completely wiped out. But we definitely have some classic looking Marilyn Monroe shots right here. And then we're going to keep going along. So here I put in the SW100. And I essentially got the shots from earlier where it's predominantly the image that we started with. So here we got SW50. So we're kind of getting in between. Now here we are down to SW. 10 and again now we're starting to get somebody who looks like Marilyn but also has the characteristics of the original image and now we got SW20 so a little bit more of the image a little bit less of Marilyn and SW5 so now we're much more Marilyn and but we still have the yellow goldish tint in the background and uh, the coloration on the faces on here is, is just fantastic sometimes um, how they do that is just incredible so here we are sw3 and sw2 so again as the uh, weight of the style goes down the uh, character shows much more now here i put in s uh, marilyn monroe colon colon five and is there much of a difference here between these two? Because I got SW2 here, SW2 here. Um, I don't know, maybe a little bit more Marilyn um, in here, especially this one here in the bottom right. That's, again, a classic Marilyn shot right there. So... Um, Maybe a slight difference there. And then here we had SW5, so a little bit more of the style image. And so, again, you just play around and play around and just have fun with this stuff. But then we get down here, so I, I kind of landed on SW10 and Marilyn Monroe with a weight of 5. And I did a couple shots here. I guess here's one of 7.5. But this is where I got to finally and said, okay, I really like this image over here on the right-hand side. So this is the one that I decided to take from here and blow it up 
into, not that image there, but this one right here. So obviously just this part is what we're seeing on this original image. So we have that there. And so in order to start working on this, then you click on U2, because this is, this is one, two, three, four is how they lay this out. So here we want to upscale number two. We do that, and then I did here, you can see it says still highlighted in green, I did a pan up. These are the panning buttons right here, uh, so you can pan up in any direction, or um, the four different directions. So what we did here is we gave her more height above her head, and I chose this one here on the right because it was the one that had the least whacked out hair, but so we went from this image to this image right here with more height above and then i said okay let's do the same thing now and let's pan to the right so we start filling in some to the right hand side here i chose this bottom left image right here not quite sure what this kind of window thingy is here but i liked it because it had a wall behind instead of more glass so we got a wall behind her here, and then again now we do a pan down to fill in the rest of her body right here. So the rest of the body gets filled in, and then from there I wanted some more of what was behind her, so we did another pan to the right, got... Uh, or to the left, no, to the right, uh, yeah, to the right on this one here, so got more of this chair, couch kind of thing she's sitting on. And then we panned to the left a couple of times and finally end up with this image at the end. So I'm going to do the exact same thing um, and go through what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get two screens going here and I'm going to basically walk through exactly what I did on this one and try to do the same thing over on this screen over here, but this time do it with... Um, uh, Cindy Crawford, I figured uh, I'd give it a shot with Cindy Crawford on here. So let me pause for a second. And what I want to use is this image right here as our uh, style reference. So I'm going to come into this image. This is one that I had created myself. and Or you could go to the gallery page where everybody else has created images and use those as well. So we're going to click on this little uh, three, three lines here. We're going to come to copy and we're going to copy the image URL. And then we're going to come over here and we already put in Cindy Crawford, SREF, space, and now we're going to paste that in and you're going to see a big long um, address here whereas what happens then is mid journey pairs it down into the short link right there so don't uh, i i struggle with that because i was look, looking at this this morning going how come my link doesn't look right and well it was so we're going to do uh, version six like i said you have to do that and then like i said i like to do the ar um, 16 colon nine and so now let's hit enter and see what we come up with so as before, we get our image here, and it doesn't really look that much like Cindy Crawford. And again, it's because it's like we had over here on the left-hand side, where we had our, our weight set as 100 by default. So what we can do is we're going to rerun that entire prompt again. But this time here, we're going to say, instead of style raw, which is what it defaulted to, we're going to say an SW or style weight of zero. And we will rerun this, and it should look much more like a Cindy. So here's the result right here with a style weight of zero. And you can definitely see this picture here, especially that uh, really looks like her right there. And the rest of these are pretty good images as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to set the style weight to 10 like I did over here and see what that comes up with. And then I'm going to put a weight on uh, Cindy Crawford herself. And so I'll do two quick images here. Okay, some of these don't necessarily look much like her, but this this one here really kind of does. And let me see here if any of these look much like her. And so one thing I noticed here that it wasn't doing yesterday, you can see it right here in the prompts, is today it is putting in style raw. Even when I take that out, it's putting it back in. So I don't know if that being in there is affecting these images or not, because I do believe I have everything else exactly the same, and uh, still it's giving me that. So uh, we're just going to keep moving forward here, even though these don't look that much like her. So what I want to do is let's pick this image image right here. That one looked like her the most. And so let's say we want some variations on image four. And again, I'm going to strip off the style raw here. 
and see if we can get this thing to do it without that. So we're going to submit that. Okay, so none of these ended up really looking much like Cindy Crawford, but I decided I'm um, done goofing around with this here. So uh, you can see the prompt I got here. I got all the way down to SW1. So now what we want to do is let's take this lower left-hand image right here, and we're going to say up scale 3. And what we're going to do, you're going to hear some beeping in the background. What I want to do is to pan this to the right, and we will just hit submit and let that go. And this is what it gave us. So what I'm going to do is choose one of these images and do a little bit more panning to make a bigger image, probably put in some more of her body, and then uh, we'll see what we come up with. And here is the final image. And again, I think that turned out great. You take an image like this, you throw it into Photoshop, you crop it to the right size that you want. So you can always make it a little bit bigger and then crop it down in something like Photoshop or any other tool that you might want to use. But now there's one other thing I'm going to try to show you here real quick, and that is how to use two different images. Apparently you can use up to three uh, different images, maybe more, I don't know. Uh, but you can just mash together a couple other images. And so let me just give that a try real quick. So I decided to do a mashup with these two images here. This one here of the gal with the flower in front of her face. And then this one here, which was a Pablo Picasso with sur surrealism and suprematism. Uh, suprematis, suprematism, whatever it is. Um, so I mashed up those two images there. And you're going to see over here, here's the first one. And I just have here, and again, I'm stuck on the style raw at the end. Uh, but it's just a straight up mashup with the word surreal in front of it. Cause you need to have something in front of the, uh, any of these prompts, any of the, um, variables or whatever they call them here at the end. So, um, you always have to put something in there. I could have put, um, I guess I'd just put a, you know, a woman or something like that. But then I came down here and I, uh, changed the style weight to 10, so it's going to lower the style weight of the two images and just give me more of a surreal image. And then we're going to come down here. And what I did is I actually tried this. I didn't know if it'd work or not. I put some weight here. You see the colon, colon, two at the end of this image. And then down here, colon, colon, two at the end of the first image. So the first image is the image of the girl that you see over here. So it's giving that much more weight. And so we got much more of a woman's face and flowers in the picture. Whereas this one up here, I gave more weight to this Pablo Picasso-esque kind of picture. And again, that's exactly what it is giving us, including the random eyeballs floating around here on the screen like we have over here. So it is some pretty cool stuff that you can do when you start mashing up these images together. And if you had a picture of a dog and a person, I'm sure you could probably mix the two of them up together. So that's it for this video. If you got any questions, just let me know.